Okay, I'm back again. This is part two because it went really, really, really long. So I'm just gonna give it a really groovy thing and we'll finish it off. You can go about and do what you gotta do. Okay. This can be part two. Flowers. Groovy. Okay, so now we're gonna look at your your health. You know, with your health, is there a lot of we're back to this emotional. If you if you're jumping in at part two, you need to go back and watch part one, this and then this all makes sense. So with your health. Um, you know, in regards to your health, ask yourself, you know, where am I? Oh, actually, we're going to go back to business and work. You've got to ask yourself, you know, what would it take to bring love, joy, and peace to my work or business? What would it take to bring love, joy, and peace to my work, to my business? Yeah. What, what would it take? What would it take? What would it take? You know, do I need to shift the vision of my business? Do I need to shift the values of my business? Do I need to, um, get clear about why I'm there at my work and in my business? And that is going to, you know, can I make love, joy, and peace values in my business? Can my business be to bring more love, joy, and peace to the world? Is that the vision of my business? Is that the purpose of my business? Is to bring more peace, love, joy, and joy to my clients. So there you are. You're actually activating um, higher level, lighter emotions in your business, which you got to help you be classier and groovier, maybe. It's up to you. Uh, Walmart. Let's have a look at Walmart. <laughs> Sam Walton, hugely successful business worldwide. Walmart has a real culture of service. They, they, they engaged, you know, obviously there's so many supermarkets out there competing for the, the, the consumer's dollar. But Walmart actively embraces service and care in their supermarket. You know, they even have, apparently, um, chairs where people can sit down and decide about their, per their purchases. You know, so there's a, and, and customer service staff, they always make sure that there's enough people to take care of customer needs to make sure they're taken care of. You know, there's nothing more frustrating when you go to a supermarket, you're looking for help, you don't know where to find something, and then there's no one around because the supermarket has cut costs by reducing staff to the bare minimum. Walmart seems, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, to have a higher devotion to this thing and to these emotions up here, which, you know, obviously can be calibrated in its, in its success or by. Health. So where's your health? You know, what's your, you know, maybe you hate your body. Maybe your body is just, you know, maybe you've got some really bad illness or disease. And maybe you've got all these emotions, you know, oh, you know, I shouldn't have done this, shouldn't have done that, shouldn't have lifted that object. And you, you're dwelling in these heavy emotions. Let me give you a hint. They're not going to make you better. They're going to really weigh you down and impede your healing. So again, the question is, what would it take for me to bring peace, love and joy to my health? What would it take for me to bring peace, love and joy to my health? Yeah. So that could be you, you know, you know how you, most of the time in a given day, you're on autopilot, you know, you're, um, you are just doing stuff and you don't make time for yourself. You know, what if you could put yourself, make sure that you, every single day, you do stuff which nurtures you, which brings love, joy and peace to your health. You know, you could have one of those, uh, you know, buy one of those foot spa machines and, and you could put your feet in there and put some, you know, really cool, whatever you put in there and just, you know do your feet at the end of a nice day you know women the women the ladies were like that and that could be bringing more love joy and peace to your health meditating praying relaxing putting on some cool relaxing music in the car that could be bringing more love joy and peace to your health yeah um putting up inspirational pictures at work and at home um that about your health that could be bringing more peace, love, and joy to your health. So do you see where I'm going? What would it take to bring more peace, love, and joy to my health? By actively activating your focus. And this question, you're really going to... I just remembered one. Home. It's a new one we're going to add in there. You're really going to start shifting your overall life from these heavy, heavy crap emotions to these empowering emotions. And you're just going to start doing better financially, physically, mentally, emotionally, in your relationships when you're up here all the time and it's possible you can exist up here there's people that do and there's people who have made the shift to those higher emotions self-image yeah so look at your self-image you know when you think about your body when you think about your mind when you think about your ability to function in the world what you bring to the world do you live in these emotions here you know there's blame shame hatred grief anger pride or when you think about your self-image do you really have a great peace about where you are and who you are and where you're going in your life and joy and love about that kind of stuff? Yeah, I'm sure you, few people are up here. Most people are down here messing around here and it, and it really wreaks havoc with their life. Yeah, 
So what you want to do is again, what would it take to bring love, joy, and peace to my self-image? What would it take to bring love, joy, and peace to my self-image? Yeah, and you don't need to necessarily make a love, joy, and peace. You can say, what would it, what could it take to bring love to my self-image? What would it take to bring peace to my self-image? Yeah, cool. Relationships. Okay, this is a big one. Relationships with your lifelong partner, your husband or wife, girlfriend or boyfriend, um, children, brothers and sisters, uncles and aunties, parents, cousins, extended family, your relationship with the community, your relationship with the nation, your relationship with strangers. Are you in these emotions? Or are you know, are you in shame, blame, hatred, grief, desire, pride and anger? Yeah. Or are you in this place of peace, joy and love with in your relationships? Now be really, you know, and then the key is just to say, what would it take for me to bring peace, joy and love into my relationships? What would it take? What would it take? What would it take? What could I do? What could I do? What could be done to bring peace, joy and love into my relationships? What could I do to bring peace, love, more peace and love, joy and joy into my relationships? Yeah. Okay. Spiritual life. 